Arcadia. The Mass is offered for the repose of Margaret and Paul Dabrowski. Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter claim for a slave of slaves, and strengthen him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession and seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Now, concerning the matters about which he wrote, let each of you lead the life that the Lord has assigned, to which God called you. This is my rule in all the churches. Now, concerning virgins, I have no command of the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. I think that, in view of the impending crisis, it is well for you to remain as you are. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek to be free. Are you free from a wife? Do not seek a wife. But if you marry, you do not sin. And if a virgin marries, she does not sin. Yet those who marry will experience distress in this life, and I would spare you that. I mean, brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Hear, O oh daughter. Consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty, since he is your Lord, bow to him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All glorious is the princess in her chamber. The princess is decked with golden robes. In many colored robes she is led to the king. Behind her the virgins, her companions, fall. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. With joy and gladness they are led along as they enter the palace of the king. In the place of ancestors you, O king, shall have sons. You will make them princes in all the earth. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Your reward is 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus looked at, up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and weep for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. And he also said 
we must speak to them with our hands before we try to speak to them with our lips. So he uh, brought citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, brandy, wine. Sometimes they would bathe the bodies in wine. They were so diseased. And bring comfort and food uh, to these slaves. He would, of course, have begged for the food on the streets of Cartagena, biscuits and sweets and tobacco. He also gave them tobacco as a kind of comfort. So over the course of the 40 years, he baptized, we, we believe, 300,000. Baptized, but also catechized with a very rudimentary catechesis. So this feast is very important uh, for today. We, we hear about this every day, we turn on the radio, and we realize that in the church we have had great heroes who have ministered to uh, the blacks. Uh, it's not just about blacks, but it's all uh, indigenous peoples. And the church uh, has made pronouncements about slavery, especially the Second Vatican Council, etc. So we are called then, of course, to uh, uphold human dignity, like St. Peter Baker did, and uh, to respond with the love uh, that he had for them. That he, they immediately sensed uh, his love, and although could not able to respond verbally, they showed it in their eyes how they appreciated his ministry. So we ask God to bless all who uh, work among the underprivileged indigenous peoples, and especially those uh, working uh, against new forms of slavery. We have human trafficking even in, in this age, and we pray for God's blessings on their work. Please pray for our fathers returning uh, to Catholic's Diocese today. They will have safe travels. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual good. Yes. Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Peter Claver, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter you bid your church rejoice, so too. You strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be a chance. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you. He will put that servant in charge of all his property. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high. In all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Plain, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith, Walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.
Thank you.